guys, this is going to be part two of the Street Fighter project on the Bandit. I finally got the headlight, and this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to be hooking up these two to the low beam, which means they're going to be on every time the bike's on. And I'm going to be hooking up these 10 LEDs on each side as a turn signal and as a high beam. So if I click on the high beam, they'll come on, but they won't be able to be used as uh, turn signals, which means just in cases at night I'll turn it on as a high beam just to get the extra light. Now, these kind of headlights are not famous for providing a lot of light, so I might end up buying some driving lines that I'll hook up to the ports or something like that, but uh, I usually don't ride at night, so we'll see how they do. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to be using, the headlight comes with this kind of connectors, I'm just going to be hooking them up into the stock wiring. Uh, just so I have all the connectors there if I want to go back to the standard lights. Um, yeah. So if you want to do this, uh, don't forget every time you work with electrical stuff on your bike, disconnect the positive lead on your battery. It's just a Phillips head screwdriver. And that's it. I'm going to get started. And we'll see what the finished product looks like. Okay, so we're running some tests here to see which, which wires are positive and negative and you can do this with the bolt meter and see which ones produce 12 bolts but this is pretty easy um, so as I found out most Japanese bikes uh, seem to go contrary of what the world does and so the positive is the solid black wire and the negative is the black wire with the white stripe on it now there's a third stripe here which is a gray one and I don't know why they do that because on the turn signal there's only two wires uh, on both sides so that third wire doesn't serve any purpose really and on the other side the positive is still the solid black wire but now the negative is the green wire and that's pretty much how the turn signal is going to be now for the power it's the same black stripe wire is negative, solid wire is positive but it doesn't really matter because the lights will go on either way alright so I'm gonna start it soldering and we'll see how this ends okay so I'm showing you how I welded or no welded, solder these connections so pretty much splice them, put them all together and don't forget to test your connections before you wrap everything in ink trick or uh, I'm going to do electrical tape for now alright, now step to headline number two alright so finally got that thing out, uh, that is one big hunk of metal probably weights like five pounds or something uh, but yeah finally get it cleaned out I'm gonna suck all this wiring in to the back here now to remove these brackets that stick out for the fairings uh, it was a little harder than I thought had to remove the coil packs the pair system and those bolts are really tricky to get to so yeah but I uh, just got to clean up all this wiring and it should be done for today. Alright, so now for the headlight, I decided to go with some spade connectors. They just plug in right into where the original headlight went. And I'm not going to end up uh, wiring up the uh, turn signals as high beams because it involves uh, cutting these and that would void the warranty. So I don't want to do that yet, but I'll eventually do that. Alright, there's a quick little video how it installed. You can see that's gonna be the turn signal. And the other one on the other side. Alright. And that's everything for today. Still waiting on the bar, bar and mirrors to complete everything. Uh, but she's rideable. I don't like riding without mirrors, but. I guess I'll have to do it for one day. Thanks for watching and subscribe.